Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be building a super fun star chase game inside of Scratch. This is a very simple and basic game that we can build in just a few steps and it's great if you want to expand upon it and incorporate harder aspects into it on your own. So without further ado, let's get coding. All right, folks, let's get straight into building this Star Chase game. So I have a brand new Scratch project open here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a backdrop for our game and a sprite. So let's go to the bottom right hand corner of our screen. Let's click choose a backdrop. And I'm feeling like I want to be inside of space. But feel free to choose whatever you would like for your game. And then next up, we're going to choose our sprite. So this is the main character of our Star Chase game. So we're going to get rid of Scratchy the cat, click the garbage can, and let's choose a sprite. So to go along with my space theme, I'm going to choose a sprite named, where is he, dot, little space dog. Awesome. And we're gonna add a couple more sprites here. So for my star chase game, I want to incorporate some sort of object that my sprite is trying to catch. So in my case, my space dog is going to be chasing a star. Keep that galaxy theme. Awesome, so we have one star sprite and we have our main character named Dot. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose one more sprite. And this sprite is going to be the sprite or character that you're trying to avoid and run away from. So this is a character that we do not want to touch. And for me, I believe I'm going to choose this funky robot. Cool. And then we're gonna start coding for our main character of the game. So for me, that is Dot. And we're going to drag a few blocks in to start this program off. So I'm going to drag when green flag clicked. And I'm going to drag a forever block inside of it. Awesome. So what I want to do is I want to make my main character sprite move whenever my mouse moves. So what I want to do is I want my character to follow the mouse. And we can do this by going to the motion section and grabbing a block that says go to random position. And we're gonna change this by clicking the drop down menu and we're gonna say mouse pointer. So we're telling the computer that when the green flag is clicked, we want our dog to follow the mouse wherever we go. So let's see what happens. Click the green flag and there he goes. He's following me. Love it. Awesome. We're gonna head over to our next sprite because this is all we need to code for our dog. So let's go to the star. And we're gonna drag a few more blocks in here, our classic when green flag clicked. And we're gonna add some sort of color effect here. So let's grab one more forever block. And inside of it, I'm gonna go into looks and grab a block towards the bottom, actually towards the middle of the section that says change color effect by 25. So do you know what's gonna happen when I click the green flag? If you are guessing that it's gonna change colors, you are correct. So let's click the green flag. All right, love it. So our star right now is currently changing colors, but it's not moving, so we gotta fix that. To do this, we're going to grab another one green flag clicked. And we're gonna go down to variables next. So it's the orange circle. And we're going to add a score feature to our game. So I'm going to grab set my variable to zero. And we're gonna rename this variable score. And let's make sure it appears on our screen by checking the checkbox on the left hand side of our screen next to the score variable. And we should see it pop up on our stage here. Awesome. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag another forever loop inside 
our code. And inside of here, we're going to drag an if then statement. So what we're checking for is we're checking for whether or not our star is touching the dog because the, do the dog's objective is to catch the star. So once the star touches the dog, something's gonna happen. So you're gonna find out what's gonna happen. So let's go to sensing and we're gonna grab a block that says touching mouse pointer. And we're gonna change this to the name of our main character sprite. So we're asking the computer to check whether or not our star is touching my character named Dot. And if it is, we're going to increase the score by one. So let's go down to variables and we're gonna change score by one. And then after that, we're going to go to a random position because we don't want the star to stay in the same place. So let's see what happens now. Click the green flag. All right, the star is moving and I grab it. Perfect, it moves again. Let me grab it again. All right, awesome. It's doing just what we wanted to do. All right, and that's all the code we need inside of our star sprite. The last sprite we're gonna code for is the object or character that we're trying to avoid or run away from. So this could be an enemy sprite. It could be a villain sprite. It could just be a sprite that you don't want to interact with, whatever you want to think of it as. All right, so we're gonna go to events, drag in one green flag clicked once again. Point in direction, 90. We want our robot to be facing in a straight direction whenever it moves. So to do this, we're gonna go inside of the operator section, the green section, and we're gonna say pick random one, two, 10. And this time we're going to do negative 180 to 180. And what these numbers are, they stand for degrees. So we have negative 180 degrees and 180 degrees. And what's gonna happen is the computer's gonna pick a random number between this range. And then let's give a little bit of a wait. We'll say wait 0.5 seconds. All right. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drag another forever block again. And one more, if then. All right, but before we put anything in our if then statement, we're going to add some motion blocks inside of here because we want our robot to be moving at all times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a move 10 steps block right before the if then statement. And then I'm going to drag a block that says on if on edge bounce. So this means that whenever the robot goes somewhere towards the edge of the screen, we want it to bounce right back. And then this time we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did with our star. We're gonna check whether or not our robot sprite is yet again touching dot. And if so, we're going to say, I gotcha. And then we'll drag a stop all to end the game. All right, so let's see what we've done. Click the green flag. All right, the robot's moving. We try to avoid him. All right, I need the star. Oh, he got me. Did not do a good job. Try it again. All right, get the star. Got it. Ah, gotcha. And we see our score goes up every time. So this is your basic, simple star catcher game, but feel free to add in different features. You can add a timer. You can add a starting title screen and an ending title screen. So whatever you want, you can even add more obstacle sprites or more stars if you want to. So there's a lot that you can do here. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed today's Star Chase game, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you tune in every week for a new Scratch project from Codespeak Labs. And without further ado, you know what this means. Cue the virtual applause. All right, this is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs logging off. I'll see you, coders.